Welcome everyone in my YouTube channel, Teaching Point. Before proceeding, I request to like and subscribe my channel for more useful updates. So let's start. Today we are going to learn transitive and intransitive verbs. First of all, let's revise the definition of verb. A verb is an action word such as eat, sleep, run, wash, play and many more. In this context, we will also revise subject, object, and verb within a sentence. Subject, object, and verb within a sentence can better be understood with the help of this sentence. Rubina is eating pizza. In this sentence, who is a performer of action? Obviously, Rubina. So, Rubina is a subject in this sentence. What is her action? She is eating right now. So, eating is verb. And what is the receiver of this action? This is obviously pizza. So, pizza is an object. So, from this sentence, we can understand that subject always comes at the start of the sentence, while object occurs at the end of the sentence. And object is usually is the receiver of the action. Now, we can see what is transitive work. Transitive verb and action that have a direct object to receive that action is known as transitive verb. This can better be understood with the help of this example. The man loves his children. So who is the performer of this action? This is the subject, the man. The man. What is the verb loves? And who is the receiver? Obviously, these are the children who, is, who are the receiver of man's love. So, from this uh, sentence, we can understand that object is the receiver of the action love. It can better be understood with the help of more examples. The doctor cured him. In this sentence, cured is the main verb and the receiver is the person. Is again a person who is uh, receiving the action of doctor that is cured. She crossed the street. So crossed is a main verb and the main verbs receiver or the object is the street. She crossed the street. Rowan kicked the ball. So kick is the main verb while ball is the receiver of that main verb or main action. Kicked. <clears throat> now see what is intransitive verb. All those actions that have no direct Direct object to receive that action is known as intransitive verb. Let's suppose here is an uh, example of a sentence. Snow fell yesterday. So in this sentence, snow is a subject. Fell is a verb. But where is the receiver? There is no receiver. There is only mention the time, mention the day. Snow fell yesterday. But there is not a receiver. Where does the snow fell or where uh, did the snow fell. So from this sentence we can understand that there is no not a receiver and all those sentences where there is no receiver of the action is known as intransitive verb. Intransitive verb can be understood with the help of more sentences we fail. If the sentence will be we failed in the exams, we failed in um, hiring this project, we failed in our aims so all these uh, words that occur at the end of these sentences can be known as object but there is no object because we failed and there is no object at the end she is sleeping there is no object to receive this action they work hard they work hard on what on where so there is no receiver of this action i hope the definition of transitive and intransitive verb is clear. I am revising once again all those actions that have receiver at the end, that have an object at the end are known as transitive verb and all those actions that have no receiver, that have no object at the end are intransitive verbs. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Please leave comment below. So in light of your feedback, I will make it better. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.